Welcome back to another video guys today I'm here with some adventure quest news also a little bit of Arctic entertainment news uh, we got some names for the new TLAPD naval commanders uh, we also have two other armors for TLAPD and a new game from Arctic entertainment let's get in this video in three two this way All right, I guess uh, I guess our entertainment is turning into uh, EA or Activision. <sighs> okay, <laughs> here we go. Dungeon Punks is Arctic Entertainment's new game. Looks like it looks their style of game. I'll show a little bit of this. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Maybe I won't show a little bit of this. Read everything. To it. Badass logo though. All right, let's just turn that down. It's really loud. Oh, we're gonna get some buffering. Oh, I love my internet. So great. So great. So this game's uh, thirteen dollars right now. It's on sale. It's like fifteen dollars normally. Uh, I think that's Canadian dollars. Might be USD. I don't know. But you have to say you're thirteen on this website, and you can buy it for PayPal, and it gives you a Steam code, which you can then go open up on Steam. All you do to get the code once you have it. If anyone's confused, is you just activate a product in your library. You put the code right there, and once the code's in there. You can activate it on your Steam client right there. So, pretty pretty simple stuff. If you want to go buy the game, it's 15 bucks. It's published by Artix Entertainment, uh, but the game was actually done by a studio called uh, Hyper Awesome Entertainment. <laughs> uh, that name. Okay, so Artix Entertainment is publishing it because I guess they have more experience with publishing games, and then hyper awesome entertainment made the game so Arctic entertainment didn't make the game it's kind of like how dice will make battlefield for ea ea publishes the game they do all the work for publishing but dice is the actual developers of the game it's kind of like that where Arctic entertainment is the ea in the scenario where they're the publishers and uh hyper awesome entertainment is dice so they're the actual game devs so if you have any issues with the game don't go to the Arctic Entertainment help team, they I don't think they can help you with it. Maybe they could. Um, I think you can also go to the Humble Bundle Store and buy it, but I'm pretty sure this is what that links you to if you click on Dungeon Punk. So I'm on the notes right now. And if you buy this game for I think fifteen dollars, and you have to use this, uh, and you have to click on this link right here uh, to get this special thing. I think if you go to like Humble Bundle, and you can buy it on Steam. If you have any Steam money laying around and you want to get the game. But I think if you spend your Steam money, I think you have to buy it on Humble Bundle uh, to get this. So, a code to unlock the Wear Warlock reward in a hit online game. <laughs> Humble Bundle exclusive. Yeah, this is only in the Humble Bundle. And the Humble Bundle, you have to click this link. Or I'll leave a link in the description of this video to the Humble Bundle, which is this page that I was showing you earlier. Um, so, here's Humble Bundle and you just buy it right here. And then you'll get your code for... The Wear Warlock. It's not a class, it's just an armor. And I think it's only one armor, maybe a helmet. I don't think there's any weapons or anything from what I could uh, find out. But it looks pretty cool and it's on 10% discount right now. So if you want to get this game, it's, I think it's one of the first. Is it the first game that Arctic Entertainment published? I know they've worked with like the guys from Cookie Clicker to make a game before, but I don't think they've ever published a game. Alright, so let's move on to the next little piece of news. There's really, really not not a lot of not a lot of news today, but I just want to put out this video because the new game is actually looks pretty, pretty nice. I might get it. I don't know. I'm there's only a few reviews on Steam for the new Dungeon Punks game, um, so I don't really know. And they're all positive, and there seem to be from people that have a lot of games on their accounts. Um, but there's like three reviews right now on Steam. So if you buy this game, please leave a Steam review. I'll go through and read those later. Um, also, today. Uh, we finally had the confirmation from Elena that the navels this year are going to be named Cursed and Solar for the naval commanders, plus a Lunar Pirate Captain, and this is a Golden Pirate Captain, so we're getting Golden Pirate Captain, Lunar Pirate Captain, uh, Solar, and Cursed Naval Commanders. So the naval commanders are the normal uh, com uh, naval armors, so like... This one I have right here in my inventory. If some some people will ask me what TLAPD was. So this is season one. This one will be coming out um, very soon. 
uh, on September 16th, I think, is the date that it comes out. September 16th is when TLAPD starts. So this was uh, the naval that they released last year, along with, a, like, a mechanist. Not a mechanist. A mechanic. I don't know. It was, like, a robot, like, pink one. Uh, looked very cool. Um, and then Legion 1 came out last year. This won't be back this year. People think that it's coming back this year. This is rare. You can't get this ever again. This one is seasonal. Um... And there will be two new rare ones this year. The Both the uh, Lunar and Solar Navels are the two rare navels, like the Legion one that I have right here. This is a rare one, and they're adding two more rare ones this year. So hopefully that's explained properly so people know. And then the Captain armors are these armors that will be uh, also rare. Uh, the two Golden and Lunar uh, Captain armors, respectively will also be two rare armors that are coming along with everything that's seasonal with TLAPD and probably a bunch of other gear also that that's normal what they'll do. So that is happening on September 16th, if you want to mark that down in your calendar. Uh, my calendar says that's a little bit away. That's only a little bit away. So next month on the 16th, this stuff will be available. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. I know it's kind of short, little news video, but I was pretty excited that they finally announced the uh, names for the... Uh, naval so we can kind of get an idea of what they're going to look like as soon as pictures are available I'll include that in one of my upcoming news videos. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, If you want to go pick up the new Arctic Entertainment published game Dungeon Punks the link will be in the description. It's not a sponsored spot or anything. It's just whatever It's kind of cool that they're publishing games And it's also on sale. So if you want to pick that up, it's a good thing you get you get an R AQW item for buying it um, Yeah, other than that. Thanks for watching and uh, remember that this Friday, uh, there's the limited quantity shops. I'll leave a link also in the description for the limited quantity shops. So I need to leave, like, what, three or four links in the description. I'll leave, I'll leave the link in the description for the limited quantity shop also. That is this Friday at 11 a.m. EST, our server time, I think is when the first stock of that happens. So if you want the limited quantity shop items that are coming back, definitely pick those up in the morning when they're available or else you might miss them out, miss out on them. Words. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Let's see if we can get 100 likes on this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.